Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burned. And today, I've transformed into a black guy named Tamir, and I've renamed my channel Kamen Rider Black Man. So, with that said, let's talk about Kamen Rider Zio, episode 17. Happy New Woes 2019. It's New Year's Day, and Sogo turns out to be a man-child who still lives at home, going on about about going to become king. <laughs> and the funny thing about that is, I'm not even kidding. It's 2022 today, or at least in the show, which means the show's over. Weird. I never would have thought that Wool would eventually end up in the same mental institution as Transa from Jetman. Huh. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's New Year's Day, and it apparently is 2022. First weird thing about the future is that, one, it's amazing how people still believe that there would be literally holograms everywhere and stuff, and yet it's 2019, and people still make that assumption that's been around forever. But, two, taking in the idea that it's 2022, the minions from Kamen Rider Forze, Dusk Tards, why are they there? I have no freaking clue. I first thought it was a more time-altering reason, but I really feel like they were just there. But that's fine, because they represent the motif of a common writer from 2022, and a highlight of this episode for me, Heria Takawada, Takawada aka Star Ninja from Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. One of the only good things, a cup, one of the only good things from Nin Ninja. And that's not saying a lot. Why is he in this episode? Common writer, he turns out to be common writer Shinobi. And it first thought of this immediately is awesome. Returning Toku actor. No, returning Sentai actor. It just it's just awesome. Like he was a good character in a bad show. Now he's in a good show. That's awesome. But anywho, common writer Shinobi. He traded in the the gold for purple. So let's talk about that. First of all, I fucking love this suit. <laughs> because purple is because purple is one of my favorite colors. But every but literally just talking about the suit right now. One, it looks like they took a suit from X Aid and did a whole makeover to it. And two, it looks dope. I I look at this and I see all the ninja details in this suit. And the best part about it is that it's a common Rider. And that is awesome. Now I wonder if they're actually going to have a driver that he has. Because I would so buy that. To be fair, I'd also buy the Ninja, the ninja, the ninja Hamburger Morpher that Star Ninja had. But uh, moving on about this suit. This is an awesome ass suit. And I freaking love it. But now, back to the show. Kamen Rider Shinobi turns out to be a dream that Sogo had, and after a, and after that, a time portal comes from the sky in the shape of a watch, and apparently it's Woes, or wearing what I believe is silver with shiny, with, let me think, it's Woes, and he's coming out, and he's wearing all silver, and he's wearing these skinny... VR goggles that you would see in VR, VR goggle shape, like the ones from Back to the Future. And possibly noticing it, Schwartz meets up with Wool and Aura and gives him a ride watch of an unknown rider that there's no record of at all. But there. But moving on to the next day. Uh, either, hang on a second, 
Uh, right now, I'm just taking a moment to look at my notes. My apologies. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Anyway, moving on to what I believe is either the next day or the same day. A gang of Japanese actors making ugly facial expressions to be tough gang up on a guy who spilled coffee on the gang leader's shirt. That's just a note I wrote because the actors, it well the it well the tough guys that are ganging up on this guy, they are apparently making very ugly looking facial expressions. The just to look tough and I thought it looked stupid. It made me want to take a bat and just beat them all. And this guy had coffee spilled on a shirt from another guy that was an accident. Or at least in this case, it's like 30 degrees in Japan. And this guy needed to learn a lesson about not wearing a coat. But so, either way, Star Ninja's actor, whose name in this episode is Rentaro, he defends the guy and takes an ass kicking for him. And by the way, the dude's still a good actor. Dude, you should know better than accepting evil promising powers. If you did, then you would have become the werewolf yokai. Now. Either the next day or the same day, Gates explains the day of o of Oma is soon. And what that is, is it's the day that Kamen Rider Zio becomes Oma Zio. And all of the previous Kamen Riders just before him disappear and vanish. So next, Will shows up to the clock shop with news. And Gates is the only one with enough sense and nerve to kick him to the curve. But Wolves is there to inform them of an another writer that, spoiler alert, it's common writer Shinobi. That's a Shinobi is another writer. And the first thing he does is kill the pe is the first thing he does is kill the people that beat him up. That beat him up. Yeah. Yeah. Sentences and grammar. Alright, so while that happens. Schwartz is there, and Woes shows up wearing all silver, writing in a death note to get an answer out of Wool about the Another Writer. And yes, in my sentence, I know what I said, and I've seen this scene like twice already, and it's a, com it's a fucking death note. He writes in the book, then something happens to kill someone. That's a death note. And I don't care if it's not magic or not. And Sogo and Gates encounter the monster, learning that it's the writer from Sogo's dream, and Gates goes after him, while the other o while the other woes, who I'm gonna start calling him Death Note Woes, because ah, this real quick thing about Death Note Woes, he is such a hoot, messing with people and being snarky is his way of getting business done, and I can't help but laugh and admire him. Because his mannerisms is just saying fuck you with a smile while he screws with you. It's just, I don't know why. I just find that so amusing. Because I think Woes, is, like the actual Woes, is such a fucker. But anywho, speaking of which of the actual Woes, he shows up and makes an escape with them. And the battle does, does not take too long to have a break. Because... Another shinobi finds them and attacks them again. Death Note Wills shows up and explains his deal. He originates from a completely different timeline. And so does another shinobi who comes from the same timeline as he does. Where's my money? Actually, the timeline where Death Note Wolves is from is from a timeline where Gates kills Omazeo and is the savior for it, and Death Note Wolves is there to support him, meaning it's not that Wolves, but this Wolves, 
that happens to be our tertiary writer, Common Writer Woes. Now, let's talk about his suit. Now, for, with Common Writer Woes, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just not a big fan of his suit. And I don't know why. And I think it's because of the green and silver that I'm not a fan of. And I just don't really see those two colors mixing together. Which would, in a way, thinking about it now, makes me a little bit of a half hypocrite. Because I have seen the Rio Soldier suit, the Rio Soldier suits, and I really like those suits. But with this suit alone, um, it's not ugly or bad, but it's not my personal favorite. But so, Common Rider Woes, not a big fan of his suit, but this guy is powerful because he can, because not only can he fight, he can fight, has a death note, and his finisher is drop kicking a monster. Awesome. And the episode ends there with learning that Gates is a savior and Death Note woes his time. And the question of which future will they decide ends the show. So overall, this episode is actually pretty dang good. It's an interesting turn in story. And it's something you either saw or didn't see coming a mile away with Gates' aspirations. It's a good antithesis of both Soko and Gates and how they both want to change the future. Also, I really want to imagine an argument that goes, my woes is better than your woes. Nah, -uh. my woes is better than your woes. Oh yeah, my woes can do magic. Oh yeah, well my woes is a common writer. A little something like that. Also, my phone sucks at gathering also, my phone sucks at fully uploading half pieces because it only gets half of what was said. Even though when I checked in the previews, I got the entire thing. But besides that, it was still a good episode. And I can't wait to see what they do next episode. Till then, please do not forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends about Common Rider Black Man, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.